Hey guys, how's everybody doing out there in internet land? Uh, it's me and Brandon back here with another video for you. A little bit, a uh, little bit of a different one. This isn't exactly a no skill news because the news just broke and this was really impromptu. Uh, but we want to talk to you guys about our thoughts and opinions on the Doctor Disrespect situation. Again, we don't know how long this video is going to be. It's not exactly no skill news, but we wanted to at least talk to you guys about it. And we're going to try best to remain as unbiased as possible because. This is still so shocking. The man, uh, the man behind the mustache, the one of the biggest names in in streaming, Doctor Disrespect, the man that's been attempted canceled numerous times, the guy who almost got arrested for spending 24 hours in the White House bathroom, the man who <clears throat> essentially left one platform and then went to another platform and became even bigger than he was before, Doctor Disrespect. But that's what we're going to talk about the Twitch ban. It finally came out. It finally got leaked as to what happened, and we're going to get right into it. No more beating around the bush. So, as of this recording, uh, 24 hours ago, a ex uh, Twitch employee. Yep. I forgot the name, but <clears throat> uh, it was like Corey, some. It'll be uh, he, when we show the tweets, you'll see the name. Yeah, you'll 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 see it somewhere here on the screen right about now. Uh, he's made a he made a tweet on X saying that Doctor Disrespect was banned on Twitch for uh, talking to minors via via Twitch whispers. Yeah. And Brandon and I, when this <clears throat> when this story first broke, we didn't want to believe it. We thought there's no there's no way this is just a mad employee who's wanting to create create waves in the like in in the twitch space or in the it just the streaming space as a whole like it still to me seems so far-fetched but that's what brings us to what happened today that shook the internet to its core people are still talking about it doc took to twitter or x and he admitted it he straight up said Yes, but his submission or omission or admission, whatever you want to call it, seemed a little off. Like uh, it's going to be popping up on the screen here, and uh, bear with me. I, it's a long, it's a long read, but I'm reading it out to you guys. You can fast forward if you want to. But Doctor Disrespect says the Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filters with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I've always wanted to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight uh, Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families that I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. So in just that first statement, Doc has said <clears throat> he has parted ways with his own game development company, Midnight Society. Which, by the way, he had like, like what, 50% ownership with? It's, you can tell the severity of the situation where one, a uh, game company that you own, like 50% of, totally cuts ties with you. Not only that, you're the main face of the said company and we don't know the situation with Midnight Society or what's going to happen with them. We don't know if they're going to cancel the game. Now, because of this situation, we don't even know if they do decide to keep going and launch this game, it, how successful it will be. Midnight Society has actually come forward and said that they will continue with the game. But the problem is because you have that face of Dr. Disrespect at the front of it, your game's DOA. There, I don't think there's a shot that it has any any shot of gaining traction, especially since it's a NFT based game. That so, is also true. Wow, I forgot about that. And people are not big fans of NFTs anymore. Yeah, thanks, Logan. Uh, anyway, about Doctor Disrespect. So the next part of his alleged confession on X, he goes forward and says, "Everyone's been wanting to know why I was banned on Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control." I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I cannot tell you my side of the story regarding this ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. 
out. Were there real uh, intentions behind these messages? The answer is obviously not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I, met, I went through a lengthy arbitration reg regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. So right there, that paragraph is catching so much heat for because he admitted through Twitch whispers of all things, by the way, uh, he was uh, in D uh, he was in talkings with a a minor, and then um, he even goes forward. Huh? No, go ahead, continue. And then he even goes forward to say that some of these conversations might have, uh, you know, been a little too, <laughs> but nothing happens. So you you still, yeah, not good. Yeah, here's the thing. One, he hasn't, he didn't address if he knew it was a minor or not. But given that he didn't, I'm relatively going to believe that he did know or he had a good idea. My other question is why do it to begin with and let, especially in something like whispers? Who used Twitch, who, who, Twitch whispers? Bro, I <laughs> hardly anyone uses it. But one, like, that's kind of hard to put into words of what the fuck are you, th were you thinking? And again, we're, I, we're trying to remain as unbiased as possible yeah. because I was such a huge Dr. Disrespect fan and this shook me to my core and it, we're, we're still not done. There's, there's still, there's still two more parts. So yeah. I didn't think on and personally, I haven't really been a dog fan like ever. I've been more on Tim the Tan Man side than Doc, but already oh, uh, yeah. But this this is shocking, especially since how big this guy is, and it's crazy that a lot of these types of stories have been popping up for years and years now. It's it's crazy, and now it's for someone this big. Damn. All right. He goes forward and continues saying, now from a, uh, a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. <laughs> That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should not have happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. That was stupid. Now, with all that said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've never seen... Uh, I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or p word. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows uh, that knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the band itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. So right there. You're talking to this minor. You've admitted that it got a little too, maybe a little too risque of a conversation to have with a minor. And then you immediately go forward and say that you're not a predator. It's kind of, that's, that's the image that you're painting though. When you yeah. do stuff like this, like yeah. you kind you can't, you can't just say, yeah, I was talking to a minor. We might've been sexting a little bit, but I'm not a, I'm not a creep. And that's the thing that. It doesn't matter if you didn't meet or if no pics were shared. The fact that you did it is already proof enough that if it lasted long enough, it could have gone further. Mm. That's or, where all this like, is hurting. Especially since apparently, like, I don't know if he said it, if this was ha going to happen or if he addressed if it was true, but apparently there were planning on meeting at twitchcon which i'm pretty sure he said that none of that happened that it, the meeting didn't happen but i don't did he say that the conversation happened or if it didn't that part i don't know yet but um because if the so conversation far, did happen that's concerning so far it just looks like it's just been words over twitch whispers and no meetup has happened but we don't know for sure yet until more comes uh come out I was about to say, I don't want to be one of those people that's just like, oh, I don't believe it until the until I see the logs, until I see the chat logs. It's like, currently, right now, this is pretty damning as it stands on its own. Yeah. 
and if the chat logs do show that conversation did happen between him and the individual to actually meet up that's going to be the nail in the coffin as it is right now his career is on a very fucking thin line if not already snapped but twitter's been having a field day that I, let me let me get through the last part and then we'll move on to the to the community outreach the uh, the blast the impact his friends the last part is to my team community industry friends that have supported me i apologize i wish i could have said all this sooner you guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years we love you guys like you can't imagine i have the fucking best community and circle if any of this has made you uncomfortable i get it you don't have to support me anymore but just know you have always been greatly appreciated but trust me when i say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience i don't give a fuck about you Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake uh, this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned, on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear? Yeah, fucking right. So in here, we see Dr. Disrespect apologizing to his community, his friends, his family, but then also telling the people that wanted him canceled, hey, fuck yourself in the same breath it's like dude right now personally for me this is not a time for you to start copying an attitude oh, and yeah. wanting to point fingers i mean i will not point fingers but wanting to give the middle one i mean not to mention on stream i saw the clips that were being shared around on twitter and other youtube videos his last stream he didn't have this like macho attitude he kind of did look like it bothered him or he wasn't really putting on this much of a macho act and now all of a sudden he is i'm guessing he has reached that whole point of fuck you but uh, still the macho act does not really help your case it i don't know it kind of just makes it especially with you going to vacation earlier than you planned on and running away from all this, it doesn't look all great. Everybody is speculating that even on social media with all this, he's still wanting to keep up the <clears throat> Dr. Disrespect facade. It's like, nah, dude, right now, it's it's time to drop Dr. Disrespect and be Guy. Guy yeah. Beam. That's, that's his real name. Yeah. <clears throat> you gotta drop because, your ads right now. Like, you, you've managed to, you managed to survive so much as a content creator. Like, dude... I still remember one of the things that he came back even stronger than ever is when he came out with the whole uh, him cheating on his wife. And not only did Mrs. Assassin take him back, he managed to recuperate and keep a career and even get bigger. It's like, dude, yeah. once you once you cross that line of like, you know what? I almost lost my wife and my livelihood. What made you go? Let me double down and try it again. I mean, shit, even after the damn bathroom situation at TwitchCon with the cameraman, there already was another huge controversy with him. And now there's this, which honestly, I think with everything on top of it, this is not looking too good, especially with how he's handling things. It's not the right way to go. Mm -hmm. And the and evidence, I mean, there is no evidence is right now it's just accusations, but if the chat logs do get leaked and there it's there and it's all there, it's damning. Like if they see one message that seems a little too eluding to towards grooming, it's like, dude, you're done. You're, you you're get, done. Just <clears throat> get in the yeah. get in the proverbial casket because you you're you're gone. And especially with this being uh the video game community. I hate to say it because this is true on social media, especially in the video game community. The video game community is so quick and easy to throw you in the coffin and move on to the next person. Oh, yeah. Like it's it's that it's that fucking easy. It's you move aside. You 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 messed you messed up your chance. We move on to the next one. Hey, like and you the, said, like you said in your last stream, there are millions of other streamers that people can go watch. It's true. And now they're going to. And they're going to. And one of the things I'd, I'd say throw these up right about now, uh, but some of the comments and threads of because Dr. Disrespect has been trending on X for the last 
six, seven hours. But some of these people just outright hitting him where it hurts with the truth. Like what the one one gentleman says, so many words just to say you're texting a minor inappropriately. Other people, regardless of whether or not the conversations were actually inappropriate or not, since the statement is so vague, it is so truly weird that someone who was around 38, 39 years old with a family would feel any inclination to have any convo with the minor he met on the internet. True. True. Hold on. True. Yeah, that is so damn true. And this whole lawyer talk that you, up until like maybe the last post he did with the whole Macho Act, he was really trying to go the route of the lawyer explanations were not really being truthful but being very vague as fuck. it's not helping your case not helping his case at all people memeing him saying like he's just like edp i i put in a meme of uh an uno meme if that can go up at some point but I love how he just wanted to downplay it so much, like adding Jake Lucky himself. Even though Jake Lucky, I don't really care for uh, for uh, for Jake Lucky anymore, but adding Jake and saying, "I get it, it's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was knowledge, and they paid out my whole contract." And then still talking about Elden Ring on Monday, dude. You did don't sit there and say, with, especially with these allegations surfacing now, that Twitch still gave you money. Yeah, it looks even worse. <laughs> And especially when saying no wrongdoing was acknowledged, it doesn't. And like he said, it did happen. You admitted it, so there was something there, and there was a reason they banned you. As sure, it might not have been enough to warrant like a felony or any sort of legal action. It's still enough to get you banned, and everyone's curious what it is. How far uh, did it go? I did. Just because the two time didn't do time doesn't mean you didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. It still could be okay. like morally wrong. If if it's not legally, it's going to be morally wrong. And this just shook the Internet. Like uh, the some some of the biggest content creators on the on the platform are clowning him. Like I, I was scrolling through this thread where Ludwig and his girlfriend Cutie Cinderella were just laughing at him because they had online beef for a little while. Jack Septiguy, Jack Septiguy, one of the nicest people on the planet, disgusted. Yeah. They're all li like leaving their like leaving their thoughts on it, and it's not good. But the people that I feel like the most sympathy and empathy towards are his friends, dude. Like Nick Merckx, Tim the Tatman, Cloaksy, all the people that he actively interacted with on a daily basis. It's like, dude, you kept the secret from them, especially when you got banned from Twitch yeah. and you were on YouTube and uh, Nicky Merckx and uh, and Timmy couldn't talk to you. They, oh, yeah. Their contracts forbade them from even talking to you. And you're holding on to this secret the entire time. Especially when Cloaksy didn't give a fuck about the repercussions and he still would do shit with him during that time. Like, she would still do shit with him, or at least he would play his music on stream. Or he wear, would wear his like, merch on stream. Merch. Like, bro, I feel bad for his friends and, and me and hell. Tim even responded, right? And I believe. Dude, and Nick Merch and Nick uh, Merch did. All saying that yeah. they are, they are stunned, stunned that, that that this happened. It's like, dude, this is somebody that I saw as a close, tight friend, and you did this. Yeah. And not only did you do this, I was around you in your company. I'm gonna at least pop up Tim's here and show you guys what he said. Wow, this is absolutely insane, bro. Everything I'm seeing. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. And um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally. And I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said 
that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent. I cannot support that. I can't. Like, even though Nick Merckx is, uh, was affected, because I watched his video on uh, on Twitter, too, but I, when I watched Timmy's, you could tell Timmy was fighting a hard battle, fighting out that, you're, that, that your friend, somebody that not only is your, your, com your competitor or your co-worker in this streaming space, but your actual friend hiding this from you. You can see it was crushing him in his video, and I felt so bad for him. All the people that looked up to to Doctor Disrespect, you can't you, you can't trust him anymore. You, you're not going to see the same person. Hell, even I'm shocked. A part of me, again, a trainer man is un, unbiased as possible, but even a, a small part of me is just like, please let this just be a really long ended April Fool's prank for the love of God. But no, it's real. One of the biggest names. One of the biggest names in streaming. Canceled. And this just goes to and this just goes to show you. Warning to you, you, Timmy, Jimmy, whoever the fuck, uh, whoever the fuck. Know who you're talking to on the internet before you actually start talking to them. Okay? Because like this internet space is a dangerous, dangerous place if you're not fucking careful. Okay. Yeah. Anyone, no matter what age, can lie about their age. Kids nowadays know how to do it now. They're, they know how to get around things, even get around age checks, unless there's strict like security, like providing IDs and all this other shit. Kids can get around it. And you just got to be careful. That's why I have a feeling a lot of places like Twitch and like, I don't know, messaging places like Discord. Discord's awful for this you hear stories about this type of shit all the time on discord there needs to be better verification security aids verification needs to be a bumped up because this is stupid but on the other end of the spectrum you also as as a legal adult need to take responsibility yeah, of knowing too. who you're talking to because like I know a lot of people on the uh, on the internet space were immediately blaming the uh the minor saying well you didn't tell him this that whatever whatever Doc should have known better in the first place because hey around that time he was either 38 or 39 mm -hmm. married and has a daughter yeah true okay that's why me personally DH, the reason why you guys don't see my my socials link i don't really have any outside of, outside of twitter and my twitter is just filled with titties other than that i don't really use social media because i haven't i i don't care for it yeah and shit mine i strictly say 18 and up and i find if i find out that you are not 18 and up you are getting a swift block i will cut no communication whatsoever i do not tolerate that shit. i am i'm an adult i do adult things i like adult stuff it's just i it's a hard cut off and i feel so bad for Doc's community, like ought to to every single person in the Champions Club, uh, I am, I am so sorry for what you guys are probably feeling at this moment. It probably said like sad, uh, sad into sense of betrayal, it's, uh, a huge sense of mistrust. I can't even fathom what could be going through some of the minds of the people that have been subbed to Doc forever, especially the people that might have been subbed to him when he was still on Twitch and then resubbed and started brand new on YouTube. So my uh, my condolences and my heart goes out to all of all, all of y'all because this is such such a sad situation. Uh, it's so it's so sad to see like one of the biggest names that a lot of people looked looked up to and saw as like you know inspiration to others a mentor to some a friend and, a, and not just a coworker wasted, gone down the tube, sent down the river stakes. Hey man, until more information or even evidence comes out, this is gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be. He's gonna be in hot water. And if he is shown to be guilty, his career is done. He, he can say that he's not gonna go anywhere, but every, the, the viewers will. The viewers will definitely go. They'll go it'll somewhere be, else. 
It'll be like another, uh, I don't want to say his name, but a guy that used to play with the Vanos crew. Uh, Thought his career yeah. could keep going, but the internet will find him and remind him, yeah, we don't like you. Yeah. That's a good and, example, actually. And if, the, if more information does come out, we will do a more formal no skill news. But this is the first time, the first time where I'm like, I don't want to find out more. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't. It's such a bummer. But there he is. If, if information does come out, we will do an actual formal no skill news on it and discuss the situation and the topic more. Until then, this is where we are right now. Doc made a statement on Twitter, and it, ain't a it doesn't good look one. good. It ain't a good one. It it does not look good, Mister Mister Beam. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, until the next one, and I promise, next video that comes out, we'll be ha we'll be happier. I promise. This this was just such a shock to come out to to wake up to in the last twenty four hours. I'm not even sad. I'm, if anything, I'm just pissed. I'm pissed and I'm sad because I, I, I was a huge Doc fan. I really was, especially watching like him and Zlander. I can't even imagine what Zlander's going through right now. Oh yeah, that's true. Zlander was his, uh, was his worst on teammate. Oh, that's mm -hmm. gonna be rough. Mm hmm Granted, Zlander was carrying him every single tournament anyway, but yeah, regardless. All right. Yeah, that'll do it for us uh, on this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.